So what the heck is a whitelist and how do I set that up? So if you're wondering when people send you an email, say that you have subscribed to your favorite food blog or a favorite business blog or an email list um, such as maybe mine where I show you all about cash back and, and how to sell on eBay and Amazon. So you're into my list and I would have sent you a welcome email and then said to you, you know, can you please whitelist me so that I do not get put into your spam folder. Well now, once you've done that, but you want to keep it a little bit more handy where you want to see all of the different emails from that particular blog or from that business or like I said your favorite food channel whatever it is that you want to make sure that you don't miss those emails this is how you can set it up now this is a personal email of mine that I'm going to show you how to do this through Gmail and as you can see here I have regular stuff that comes to me but I also have a lot of traffic sites here too that I do traffic exchanges on and that's all this that you see down here on the left hand side so what I'm going to do is I have one here that I just signed up with this one this morning called EffectiveSafeList.com. So this is how you make sure that it can go into this kind of folder here on the side so you can see um, like with this one here I have 29 emails from them so I want to go through there and you know kind of click on my freebies. So I'm going to set this one up here and this is what they call whitelisting and again this is done in Gmail. So here's the safe list here and up here on the right there will be a more button. Push the more button and click on to filter messages like these. So you go into a filtering messages like these and what you want to do is, that's fine, this is from effective safe list. You want to create a filter with this search. So like I said, it might be your favorite food blog or um, business blog, whatever you're going. Now what you want it to do is you want it to skip your inbox, click that, and then here where it says apply the label, now you want to make a new label, and I usually call whatever the label is, um, you know, the name of the blog or wherever you're at that you want to remember. So this one here is effective safe list. You don't need to nest it under anything, you just want to have it normal, and you hit create. Then you want to make sure that it never goes into your spam folder. And there's also, th this company has already sent me seven messages this morning. So yes, I'm going to apply that filter to these seven messages. And then just like that, it's done. Create filter. And now over here on this side, in chronological order, so there is effective safe list right here. So now if I want to see all the stuff just from them, it's right here handy. And that is what we call whitelisting. And this just takes it a step further by helping you keep organized here on the site um, all the things that you're using this particular email for. All right, so my name is Jody Maley, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which will be here. And take care. Make it a great day. Thanks.